Hey, what's going on, everybody? Extreme Car Breaks. So, I had Bowman Chrome this week, so we didn't really get to do a Throwback Thursday, but we're going to call this a Throwback Thursday, but do it here on Sunday. So, a while back, I mean, a real while back, I was buying older wax that was from uh, Baseball Card Exchange. And I was buying stuff all over the place because we're probably, you know, I'm going to guess from this place in Indiana, I think it's like a four hour drive. So, pop around flea markets, stuff like that. Little, uh, they call them peddlers malls down here and stuff. You, you can actually find this stuff. And it's pretty cool when you do because you're getting pretty good deal onto it. And if I remember right, I think I spent like 15, 20 bucks, something like that, onto this, which ain't too bad because you got the Griffies in here. There's a chance that this could be like one of the boxes that have the, uh, FF face. I'm trying to swear in the video, guys, but you guys know what I mean. The bat on Billy Ripken, white out. You've got the Randy Johnson with the Marlboro sign back in there. So we're going to try to take a look at it. And everybody knows Baseball Card Exchange, they pretty much certify the packs have uh, not been tampered with. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And while I'm at it, thank you, everybody, who came down to the card show uh, to the dealers and set up there. We will have something bigger, badder going on in January. Stay tuned for more information. And if you didn't hear that, because I'm cutting off plastic. But anyhow, next car show, January 11th. So these are cello packs. Pretty much what we called grocery store packs back in the day when I was a kid. And we're going to go through see if we can find anything cool into them. And I have no idea why I really put gloves on this, because this stuff here wasn't really glove worthy back in the day. But we're going to continue with the tradition of wearing gloves, just because I'm touching a raw card. And I can't remember what I did with my hands, even if I washed them right now. Well, they have been washed, but you all know what I mean. So, let's take a look. Go back a little bit here. We already opened up one of these from BBC, a hobby box. Pulled one Griffey only. We even see Billy Ripken, the whole thing. But there's some cool cards that are always laid in here, like Sheffield rookies, stuff like that. So, I'm going to go a bit quicker than I normally do. Uh... Just so we don't have a long, long... Wow, you get three stickers in these. Um, super long video. I know 89 Fleer is kind of boring. It's not like the newer stuff where you can have hit after hit. And yes, I do have uh, Greg Jeffries. <laughs> I know I should send that too. But um, I lost my train of thought on it when I just said <laughs> I saw Greg Jeffries. But anyhow, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's not a newer product. And our cellos to begin with, so it's a little bit quicker. And we're only hunting a couple different cards. Now, I was going to do this live, but it's football day. I know you guys hate uh, doing stuff on football day, so. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, I do have another case of Bowman Chrome coming in. Remember these old all-star teams? They were so cool. Back when I was a kid, not now. But yeah, that was pretty much it. I was still getting stuff put back onto eBay and stuff. Guys, just so you know, uh, whenever eBay decides to force me to go to their payment method, we're done with eBay. Um, I'm not waiting two weeks on payments like I've been hearing people having to do, which I think is a little bit ridiculous. So everything will be direct store. It's pretty much set up right now. Just that I haven't really, really used it. I've been keeping up with eBay. But we'll start back on to that. Sticker time. I always put them on notebooks and stuff. Who was the coolest kid in the most stickers? You know, if you're around my age and you were out and just, you were a kid, you had these on your notebooks, on your binders, by Bonilla, and you just wanted to be that cool kid, Frank Viola. Y'all know it. Like second grade through probably six. You hit junior high, you didn't have that stuff because then you started, oh, he's, he's a dork. He got baseball stickers on his album. Come oh, on, Griffies. Trying 
trying to load up my PSA for January. I push over 100 cards in. That's a cool Braze one. I don't know why I'm keeping the stickers, honestly, on the side. Four packs in, no grippies, no sight of any type of Ripkins or Johnsons yet. That would be kind of funny if we had the Marlboro sign actually in the background of a Johnson on one of these. Because it would be going off to PSA immediately. Very hard to find. There's like a red one, like where it's kind of like a red. I'll have to find one. If we if we pull one, I'll show you guys. If not, I know I talked about in the hobby when we had a Johnson somewhere in there. Stickers. The thing with cellos was either you had a hot one or you didn't. I remember, uh, I think these were like a buck a pack, maybe from '89. No, no, they were lower. Well, they might have been a buck, yeah, cellos. So, you know, you go grocery shop with a mom. You go see these over by where like the bubble gum and candy and all that was. And I remember every now and then my grandfather uh, was around. He would, uh, from Seiko, would uh, pick me up like a couple of these. Ricky Jordan, that dude was like huge uh, back in 89. Everybody wanted Ricky Jordans. I was trading Ricky Jordans for the man Michael Jordan back then. I mean, it wasn't rookie cards or nothing, but. Blavin. Uh, second year, I believe. Stickers again. And I got a crazy cat that just doesn't know how to be quiet. So if you guys hear, it's like way upstairs, but uh, she's just a weirdo. All right, let me move this first stack down below me here. So so far, we went through was that two, four, six cello packs, and we are. At a zero on anything with Griffey, no Ripken sightings, nothing. Just never know what you're going to get in these things. I'm, and a lot of people think that, like, you're all going to bust cellos, I'm going to get like more and more Griffeys into it. I'm telling you, I've seen people open cellos and there was not one Ken Griffey Jr. in it. Now, I don't know if that was due to the fact that. Uh, maybe it was search and I don't think these were pretty much like uh, Where you knew what where the Griffies were laying maybe so maybe not if it was let me know in the comments But I don't think it was And also I'm keeping a Nolan Ryan's I see just because I like Nolan Ryan Alrighty Almost halfway through and have not seen anything And trust me, cellos, you can't repack them. That it's impossible. So that's always one good thing. Tony Gwynn, he was a good guy back in the day. Same with Galarraga. Smoltz. Believe his rookie. Tis the rookie of John Smoltz. And lovely. I can hear the cat out there. Guys, give me one second. I'm sorry for stopping the video right now. I gotta close the door so the dog don't go out. Okay, sorry about that. I just end up hearing the cat get sick, and well, yeah, I have to go clean. I'm not gonna do it till after the video. I think you guys ever know, like, dogs will go out there and freaking eat that stuff. Yep, I can already see the comments talking about dog eating cat puke. Okay, it's the Randy Johnson I'm talking about. So, these are very rare to find. Not this card exactly, but. Okay, so you guys see this black TV screen back here? If you could read the Marlboro sign that was on there, it's considered an error. Now, there's one where they try to red it out. So, you'll see like a red background on the screen. You can still kind of see Marlboro. And you'll see one has green. Any one of those three there, you want to get those graded. Or if you're out just hopping around flea markets and stuff, man, I'm telling you. 
you, you never know what you're going to see. There's a lot of people that's uneducated on this stuff. And they're basically, they buy to resell. And they have no idea some of the value on this stuff. And you don't sit there. And I'm, this is no joke. I found three Dale Murphy 89 Upper Deck um, reverse negatives in a guy's box. Now, everybody remembers those things there were like very, very expensive back in the day. I don't know what they're worth now. But there's a Sheffield rookie here. But, uh... You know, I found those, and they were in, I think they were in a dollar box. I asked him to take two bucks, I believe, for them all. He was like, yeah, sure. I was like, okay, cool. But, yeah, three Dale Murphy reverse negatives. And he just had them in cases. He had no idea what they were. Hmm. There was also, remember Gary Sheffield that year where the, I can't remember what it was. I think it was the shortstop or something was upside down because I had to Google it real quick on eBay. And, uh, he had two of those in there. He's their regular Sheffield rookies. And that's only after I went back to him. He said, oh, I have some more boxes if you want to look through. I'm like, okay. But, oops. Wrong stack. Don Magley, Mike Schmidt. Starting to get to some names. Almost halfway through, guys, so. Like I said, I won't really try boring you for it, but I always like doing videos like this just because it reminds me of my childhood. Maybe it reminds you of yours. But it also has a little bit of educational parts because some of the cards that are kind of rare out there, you might just end up seeing them at a flea market. I, I wouldn't say too much at a card show, but people are always selling stuff at flea markets. Um, you'll find little like peddlers malls and stuff that will have cards out and nobody goes in those places looking for cards just stuff you gotta look for wow Like I said, these here you could not reseal. And I'm guessing from the Johnson, we're not going to see a Rip Canary because they should be around the same time frame they corrected them. Because back then you couldn't have advertisements in the back. Ripkin. Stickers. Wally Joyner, his rookie, I think it was 87. Fred McGriff. Alrighty. Get rid of this stack off of here. Uh, should be about 12 more packs, guys. And we will be calling this little throwback lesson again. And we're doing pretty good because I think we've only been on for about 10, 10 to 15. Like I said, I was trying to make sure this was an easier video to do. Just because it's Sunday and for anybody wanting to pop on and actually see the cello packs from back in the day. Man, something sticks to my gloves. Look how nice and dark that gray is. Mark Grace. I if it was 89 or 88, which was his rookie. Tommy Gwynn again. Famous three pack stickers. Bo Jackson, uh, third year. Chris Sabo, people were hot on him. Seller stuff, it's sticking in my hands as I move stuff. So. You know, I'm trying to put in the garbage, it's coming back out on me. I was cleaning up stuff down here in the office, and I was like, Well, I need to open something here and fill up the rest of the trash can. You guys know how plastic goes and that stuff. 
No Griffies, no Billy Ripken so far. Sheffield to Johnson and I think it was Schmaltz or it. First Barry Bonds we've seen. Oh, there we go, Griffey. That actually looks pretty dang good. Just fell on the bottom. We might just pull the 10. Put her in uh, one of these things here for grading. It's a nice Griffey, I ain't gonna lie. And when I mail them all away, I mean, it's going to take like six months to come back, but for eight bucks a pop, you could take chances on getting nines. It's whenever you start spending more on it. And I think the value has to be under a $100 card. So I have like Tadis Jr., just base rookies, some uh, Cunhas, stuff like that. I've been just either grabbing from shows or getting in the breaks to where you have a chance of hitting, you know, a bunch of them. So we're going to get a Griffey at least. Just put it on the floor. Just does not cooperate with me from behind. Roger Clemens. Ricky Henderson for Brian. I still have another Henderson, Brian. I forgot to put in Bowman Crumb, man. I do apologize. I was just whooped. I mailed it out. So if you're actually just chilling watching the video later i do have uh, another one for you from uh i think it was 85 tops so we opened Mark Grace again. Our fun sticker pack. Three. Bo Jacks. Look how dark that is compared to the rest of them. Every now and then you get like these dark writers. Our Sabo Boy again. Come on, give us one more Griffey in here. One more. I can't remember what the Griffey PSA 10s are even going for. They're about 40, 60 bucks, something like that. So, I mean, gray it out. For me, if I, I can't remember if I spent 15 or 20 on this. Just it's not hitting me at all. There's a Nolan Ryan for me, a Raddick. Off centered. Still a Nolan Ryan for the collection. Mike Greenwell. Now you gotta stay. I'm sorry, guys. Cat, like, I didn't have a door closed the whole way, so she just plopped in here and I didn't want the dog running out. Daryl Strawberry. Sticker action. That is stacks done, so we're up to one Griffey. I've not seen Mr. Billy Ripkin at all, though.
Larry Larkin. Stickers, playing. I always like seeing Mookie Wilson's Sandberg. That's the first Sandberg we've seen. Roger Clemens, McGuire, Ricky. Dang, we're on here. We got two Rickies. Bobby Bonilla, man who's still getting paid by the Mets, I believe, to this day. Last three packs out of here, so I can get this box off of here. Wow. Things are always hard to get started. The thing is, after a while, your gloves, when you start trying to play with cello, just does not ever want to cooperate. Now the door's completely closed on them all. All right. Wade Boggs. Seiko again. Ricky Jordan. Puckett. Will Clark. Oral Hershiser. Huh, let's see if I remember that. Last pack. Oh yeah, I wouldn't take too much of your guys' time up. Be in her thirty minutes for this. Well, at least for the actual video, I still got to put the intro and stuff into it. John Smoltz, rookie again. Watch stickers. Randy Johnson, whoa. How'd you get back from back in there? Johnson and Smoltz. And that ends it. No Billy Ripkins at all, guys. Not at all. Did pull one Griffey. It will go get great eventually. Into a big, huge 100 stack of PSA next year. Or whenever I hit the Magic 100 mark. I just really started with all this stuff with PSA. Some people always ask, see, I'm going to put the Griffey. I got some Tattuses, you can see from Bowman Chrome. There's an older uh, 
Mantle batting leaders on there. Hank Aaron, Jeter rookie. Another Tatis and a Petey, but i just been stacking them up on the side here till I get a good bit of them all. But that is it for me, guys. We did pull a nice Griffey. Cannot complain on to it at all, at all. And we got some other stars. Uh, what was it? Two Smoltzes, a Sheffield, two Johnsons. Neither of Johnsons or errors. I got me a Nolan. Got Brian, two rookies out there to send out to him. So I do appreciate guys. Just keep an eye out your local flea markets and peddlers' malls as you're walking around with your wives, your moms, or whoever you're out shopping with. So tell you, never know what's going to be out there. I will see you guys there this week. Bowden Chrome Hobby, another case of it.